Hi, I'm Julie from Shenandoah Shabby, and I'm going to do a video on applying um, Annie Sloan Black Wax on top of Annie Sloan um, Graphite. Um, when, I first, uh, when I first tried this, I had a lot of questions. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, and, um, and it didn't look very well, very good the first time I did it. It was very streaky. Um, and so I have made some adjust adjustments and, um, now I, I, um, I love the look of black wax on top of graphite. Um, and I figured out how to make it a look, look a lot more consistent than it was the first time I tried. Um, so I have Annie Sloan graphite, I'm sorry, an Annie Sloan black wax and, um, this piece, I've already done two coats of shellac and actually three coats of um, graphite. I want it to, to be as um, dark as possible and, um, and show as little brush strokes as possible. Um, and I've actually already put one coat of black wax on top of the graphite. Um, so this um, is now my, going to be my second coat of, um, of black wax. When you, when you um, first put the black wax on the graphite, it makes it, you know, it changes the color a lot. It makes it very dark. Um, and so you won't be able to tell as well as I'm doing this um, where, I've, where I've waxed and where I haven't. But when you first do it, you'll be able to see it um, really, really well. Um, I just have an old brush, an old wax brush that I'm using, uh, or an old paintbrush that I'm using. Um, any wax brush or, um, you know, decent size, um, uh, wax brush or paint brush will do. Um, this one is old and, uh, bristles are falling out all over the place. This will probably be the last time I, um, wax with this one. This is going in the garbage soon. Um, but when I do this, I do a large area of one time and I work quickly. Um, and I think the mistake I made the first time I put black wax on top of graphite is I would work in narrow sections and it looked very streaky and I don't think I covered everything with black wax. Um, so now I'll probably do this in about three long sections. Um, so I put a, a decent amount on my brush. Uh, a lot of people say you don't want to put, <coughs> you don't want to put too much, I, sorry. Um, you don't want to put too much wax on, um, you don't want it caked on or anything, which is totally true, but you also don't want too little because then you won't get the coverage that you need. Um, so when I do this for a large surface, I work, um, pretty quickly, making sure I go in many different directions, but the last strokes that I do, I do up and down just because I don't like sort of random brush strokes, or at least that's not the look I'm going for here. Okay, so watch out for those. <laughs> those bristles coming out. And then, uh, see how quickly that, you know, um, black wax is very, um, it's actually, I feel like it's softer than the clear wax, and so it goes on pretty easily, um, and spreads easily. And so next, I sort of quickly, um, work to take off the excess wax, but this is, I'm not applying any pressure here. I'm just letting, I have a blue shop towel. I love these. Um, I'm just letting that do the job. I've taken off, off a good amount of wax so far, but I'm going to go to, um, a clean side now, take off a little bit more. You don't want to be trying to pull, um, the excess wax off with with um, with a side that has a bunch of wax, wax on it. Otherwise, you're gonna pull too much off or it's gonna drag too much. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the next section here. Um, I really love the look of the black wax on top of the graphite. Um, and for this one, I wanted <laughs> as close to black as possible. So that's why I put it, <laughs> geez, that's why I put it directly 
on the graphite. Um, it's, it is scary the first time you do it because you really are changing the color of the paint underneath. With clear wax, you can, if you don't like it, um, as long as you have a, a base coat of clear wax, you can take everything off with mineral spirits and that will remove, will remove it all. Um, but with black wax, once you put it on, there's no, there's no going back really. Um, black wax looks great on graphite. I've also done it on Napoleonic Blue, and it looks really beautiful on that. It, it makes a, um, a really you know, nice dark navy, which I love. Um, so I'm just, again, taking the excess off here. Nothing, I'm not putting pressure. Just letting the shop towel do the work. I always find that the large surfaces are the hardest to do um, and to, to get to look consistent and not streaky. You know, a drawer, um, I, I could have shown you that, which was great, but um, it's pretty easy to get a drawer, a small drawer, um, to look consistent. Um, but a larger surface is a little, little bit more difficult, which is why I'm showing you the side here. When I do the top, it's the same, same thing. I work quickly. There you go. And again, I'm pulling off a good amount of wax to start with. And I'm really trying almost every time I brush my hand down, um, trying to get it on an area of the towel that doesn't have any wax or has very little wax. There we go. Um, and once I'm finished with this, um, I will come back tomorrow in 12 or 24 hours and um, I will buff it. I'm not buffing it now. I'm just taking off the excess, but I'll buff it to give it a nice sheen. Um, oh, one other thing I, I wasn't sure about when I started. I, I wanted to distress this piece um, and I wasn't sure if I should do that before I did the black wax or in between coats. Um, and I ended up doing it before I put the black wax on. I wasn't sure if it was just going to make it too too black and so I, you couldn't notice it at all. Um, and it is very subtle, but, um, but I really like it. Just a little bit of the wood peeking through. And so I ended up doing it before I put any of the black wax on. And I think it looks great. All right. And that is it. I hope that was helpful. Um, if this is helpful, maybe I'll do some more videos. We shall see. And there we go. Thanks very much. Bye.